Hi viewers, how are you? Today we are going to focus on risk management. Risk management has become very important in today volatile business environment and due to its higher demand in financial sector, it is vital for everyone to know what risk management is. In this video we will be focusing the following definitions of risk management. What is risk profile? Types of risk. What is risk management? component of risk management, and finally we will see what are jobs in risk management. First of all, we study the very basic definition of risk, it states that, risk is the probability, that actual results will differ, from expected results. The second definition is also easy to understand, it states that, the term risk, refers to the probability, of some undesirable event. Undesirable events are those events which management foresee not favorable for the company, particularly in financial terms. The third definition is somewhat more broader, it states that, risk is made up of two parts, the probability of something going wrong, and the negative consequences, if it does. In summarized sense risk is volatility of return which means that if a company want profit of $100 and expect that the profit may be $90 or $95, it is the risk that the company can lost $5 to $10 on its investment. We will prolong the risk by understanding what is risk profile. Before understating risk management, concept of risk profile should be cleared. A risk profile is a term used to describe an individual or organization's attitude toward risks. A risk profile can be defined, as the level of risk an individual or organization, is willing to accept or tolerate, when making decisions. The risk profile may be different types, and we will learn it in next slide. Risk has three type of profile, number one, conservative, number two, moderate and the third is, Aggressive, now we will look each profile in slight detail. Risk has three type of profile, number one, conservative, number two, moderate and the third is aggressive, now we will look each profile in slight detail. The first is conservative, this type of risk profile, is for people, who are risk averse, and want to avoid any type of loss. It is best suited for people, who are in the early stages of their financial lives, have debt, or are close to retirement. For example, a person has $1,000 and he only investment $100 in stock market, and deposit $900 in the bank, will be considered as conservative investor. The second type of risk profile is moderate, a moderate risk profile, is for people who are willing to take on some risk in order to potentially earn a higher return. This type of profile, is suitable for people, who are in the middle stages of their financial lives, and have some savings. For example, a person has $1,000 and he investment $600 in stock market, and deposit $400 in the bank fixed deposit, will be considered as moderate investor. The third being aggressive. An aggressive risk profile, is for people, who are comfortable with high levels of risk, and are willing to potentially lose a lot of money, in order to earn a higher return. For example, a person has $1,000 and he investment $900 in stock market, and deposit $100 in the bank fixed deposit, will be considered as aggressive investor. So far, we have studies risk definition and risk profile, now we will study about types of risks. In this presentation, we will study about different types of risk, there are many types of risk, but we will study, the following important types of risk, these risks are, systematic risk, unsystematic risk, market risk, interest rate risk, inflation risk, currency risk, and in the last, liquidity risk. The first is systematic risk. Systematic risk is a risk, 
that impacts the entire market or a large sector of the market, not just a single share or a company. For example, due to attack on Ukraine by Russia, the global stock markets were crashed, and investors overall lost their money. In risk management, the systematic risk is calculated by beta. The second risk is unsystematic risk, which is opposite to systematic risk. Unsystematic risk is a risk that is asset specific or company specific uncertainty. For example, a drop of cotton production will cause loss to textile sector only, and other industries, like automobile or cement, will not be suffered directly. The next is market risk which is volatility in commodities prices, market risk is the risk of losses on financial investments caused by adverse price movements. For example, it is market risk, if high inflation, due to increase in oil prices, will reduce revenue and profitability of the company, in future. The next is interest rate risk, which occurred due to volatility in policy rate of central bank. The risk that an investment value will change due to a change in the interest rates. For example, with the increase in bank's interest rate, cost of borrowing will be high and return on investment will be reduced. The inflation risk is very important to understand, it occurs due to increase in oil prices, bank rates and currency exchange rates, the risk that the cash flows from an investment would not be worth as much in the future because of changes in purchasing power, due to inflation. For example, a company invest $1,000 on 10% fixed profit in bank, but the inflation for a year is 7%, it means the company adjusted profit, will be reduced to 3% instead of expected 10%. The currency risk is point of concern for multinational companies, and the business which is engaged directly in import and export, a form of risk, that arises from the change in price of one currency, against another. It is the potential risk of loss, from fluctuating foreign exchange rates, when an investor, has exposure to foreign currency, or foreign currency traded investments. In the end, we would study liquidity risk, liquidity risk would be, when a company has assets, in excess of its liabilities, but cannot easily convert those assets, to cash. The liquid assets includes cash, bonds, shares, and illiquid assets, are machinery, plant and land. For example, if you have bonds, you can easily convert it into cash. On the other hand, if you have land, it will take some time, to sell it in order to have, cash in hand. So far, we have studied, risk, risk profile, and different types of risks, now we will study, what is risk management, by definition, risk management, refers to the practice, of identifying potential risks in advance, analyzing them, and taking precautionary steps, to reduce and curb the risk. Let's take an example, for better understanding. For example, a fixed deposit is considered a less risky investment. On the other hand, investment in equity, is considered a risky venture. While practicing risk management, equity investors and fund managers, tend to diversify their portfolio, so as to minimize the exposure to risk. Now we will learn about, component of risk management, that how the process of risk management start, and how it is ended. The first step is to identify threats, then to mathematically or qualitatively estimate risk, then measures to avoid the risk, or whether can we share the risk, should the company accept the risk and finally how to control the risk. The first step in risk analysis, is to identify the existing, and possible threats, that you might face. These can come from, many different sources. For example, first of all, the company may identify, whether it will loss revenue, profit, or will loss customers, by occurrence of an undesired events. The second step is to estimate the risk. 
it can be quantitatively or qualitatively, once you have, identified the threats, you are facing, you need to calculate, both the likelihood of these threats being realized, and their possible impact. For example, a company planned to invest $1,000, and has estimated risk of loss of 20%, on its investment. It means, that the company can loss $200 on the investment. As a simple example, imagine that you've identified, a risk that your rent, may increase substantially. You think that there's an 80% chance, of this happening within the next year, because your landlord has recently increased, rents for other businesses. If this happens, it will cost your business, an extra $5,000, over the next year. As a simple example, imagine that you've identified, a risk that your rent, may increase substantially. You think that there's an 80% chance, of this happening within the next year, because your landlord has recently increased, rents for other businesses. If this happens, it will cost your business, an extra $5,000, over the next year. Sometime, risk may be avoided, if the company has good risk management system, in some cases, you may want to avoid the risk, altogether. This could mean, not signing a business venture, passing on a project, or skipping a high-risk activity. For example, a company avoid risk, by not putting its money in a business, where it don't have any financial or technical expertise. Instead of avoiding the risk, you can share the risk, in many way, you could also opt, to share the risk and the potential gain with other people, teams, organizations, or third parties. For instance, you share risk, when you insure your office building, and your inventory with a third-party insurance company, or when you partner with another organization, in a joint product development initiative. Since sharing is caring, sharing risk can be very productive. The fifth step is to accept the risk, it's also better many times, to accept the risk. This option is usually best, when there's nothing you can do, to prevent, or mitigate a risk, when the potential loss, is less than the cost of insuring against the risk, or when the potential gain, is worth accepting the risk. For example, you might accept the risk, of a project launching late, if the potential sales will still cover, your costs. The last is control the risk, if you choose to accept the risk, there are a number of ways, in which you can reduce its impact. For example, in cyber world, there is great chance of data theft, so by installing physical and cyber security features, the chance of risk can be controlled. In the end, we will discuss job opportunities for risk management professionals, risk management professionals, works in multinational corporations to leading international financial institutions, at following positions. Vice President Risk Management Head of Risk Management Chief Risk Manager General Manager Risk Manager Risk Management Risk Analyst, FRM, is globally recogenized certification, of risk management and many of members of the said institute are working on high-level positions.